Hi children, welcome to Ignite Learning. So this is the grade six, chapter six workbook activity video. So if you haven't watched my previous videos, uh, there are two playlists, like one for the textbook activities of a textbook uh, for the grade six, and the other playlist is for workbook activities. So uh, please watch them from the beginning uh, because this is the sixth chapter. And uh, if you haven't still tried this exercise, uh, please uh, pause the video and try it first and then only watch the video. Please don't copy the answers directly from the video and write it because that is not going to give any value for you, right? Okay, let's start. Uh, using the internet for collecting information and communication, right? So in the first one, activity 6.1, they're asking uh, to explain what is meant by internet. Right. So I hope you remember about network, right? Network can be uh, like one or like two or more computers connecting to each other, right? So it can be wired, it can be wireless. So if you connect those kind of uh, networks, right, together, uh, then we can uh, have large collection of computer networks. So internet is the largest collection of the computer networks, right? So it is made up of a large number of computers and computer networks, okay? Explain what we mean by web browser and search engine. So a lot of uh, students uh, have this uh, uh, conflict sometimes. So web browser, like Google Chrome, Safari, Opera, uh, Firefox, so those things are used uh, to open a web page or a website on the internet. Right. To browse the internet, we need a web browser, right? And search engine is a bit different. It's like the Google, Bing, right? So it's a software that can be used to find information on the internet, right? So Google and Google Chrome are two different things, right? So using a search engine, uh, you can search things. You can just uh, type what you want to find, and then it will suggest you a list of websites relating to that, right? So then uh, they're asking, uh, write down uh, popular web browsers, right? Five popular web browsers, uh, Google Chrome, Microsoft Internet Explorer. Now we have Edge, right? Edge browser, Mozilla Firefox, Apple Safari, and then we have Opera, right? These are the logos of those uh, browsers. Uh, so have an idea. So this is Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, Microsoft Internet Explorer, Apple Safari, Opera. So have some idea about the logos as well. Okay, fourth one. So here, if you have um, internet facility in the school lab or at home, you have to do this, right? You have to open Google search engine and type uh, education websites. And they are asking to write down the first five results, right? So you can do it yourself. So I have used the Firefox browser and I have typed www.google.com. So my browser, web browser is Google Chrome, but this is my search engine. Okay, so I will type uh, education websites, right? So these are the results I got, right? So you can copy, sometimes be careful, like there are ads on top of the results. Uh, but here, yeah, I am getting few uh, results like this. Now, I'm not getting Sri Lankan ones because I did include it because that's not uh, mentioned in the question. So if you type education uh, websites uh, in uh, Sri Lanka, then you will get some different results. Okay. These are a few things I got. Uh, so it's not about Sri Lankan mostly. Uh, that's how, based on what you type, only the results will be coming, right? Then in the fifth question, imagine that you need to look up uh, information about mammals living in your surroundings for activities in a science subject. So prepare the key word, list of keywords, right? So you can type mammals, mammals in Sri Lanka, right? Mammals examples, right? In the images section, you can search, right? Mammals characteristics, mammals interesting facts, right? Mammals list, right? Mammals categorizations. So like that you can, uh, because they're asking a list of keywords. Uh, so I have mentioned a few of them, right? 
Next one, activity 6.2. Prepare a list of services available on internet, right? So in the internet, there are so many uh, services available, right? You have World Wide Web, that's a um, most common uh, service which is available where you can uh, find so many resources. Right, and you have email, you have social networking like Facebook, uh, Instagram. Uh, so you can uh, share media, right? Uh, you can use e commerce, right? That means buying and selling using internet, video conferencing, like earlier days we had Skype, but nowadays we have Zoom, Teams, and all, and instant messaging, right? Even WhatsApp is an instant messaging. So remote access that means remotely you can like remote desktops, uh, if you have used, so you can remotely log into even now uh, uh, using Teams, sometimes you can give the access of your machine to somebody else who is connecting remotely. So that person can connect to your computer and uh, like troubleshooting and all these things can be done, right? So divide the students and they're asking to fill this up, right? You can do this in the school. I have done a few examples for you, right? Uh, so like this. So for example, your service, it's I'm using the word by day, right? So what are the threats you can have, right? So viruses, right? So what, how you can protect it? A ways of safeguarding is how you can protect it from that, right? One thing is you can install antivirus guard. So it will uh, scan all these uh, sites always and they will detect uh, if any harmful viruses and uh, those things are there. Right? And uh, do not visit unsafe websites. Do not click the ads, especially when you uh, go to different uh, sites. They will come up as like uh, pop-ups and ads and all these things. You have won some lottery, click here like that. So don't uh, click them. Don't visit unsafe websites. And in uh, when you're using World Wide Web, it's very important to know there are so many uh, illegal things happening and so many frauds are happening. So uh, never enter your sensitive information to unknown sites, right? So for example, now think uh, uh, you visit for some site and uh, you uh, click some links, right? And then it goes to some page, which is very similar to your bank uh, bank. Um, details page or some kind of very similar to your Facebook uh, logging page, right? Creating something like that is very easy, right? For example, now you click a link and it goes to very something very similar to the Facebook logging page. So you uh, are there, you have to provide the credentials. So you put your username and password, but it's not the real Facebook. Uh, what they do is they are like, uh, like um, doing a fraud and getting your credentials and then they will access your real Facebook profile using that. So when you're entering your sensitive information, it can be your credentials, can be your bank uh, account details, can, you, can it be, uh, it can be like uh, credit card information. So don't enter uh, like, for, uh, like, like carelessly, right? Always make sure you're doing it in the correct original website because sometimes yeah, the, you can check for the spellings and uh, the URL properly. Maybe it's not, uh, facebook.com it may be facebooks.com we don't know right so like that check the url so make sure you are not entering your sensitive information to unknown sites and um, another service we have is email right so in the email you can have different kind of threats one thing is spam you are getting so many promotional emails uh, spams and unknown ones so it will uh, uh, fill your inbox so for that you can use some kind of a spam filter right and uh, phishing have you heard about phishing right so phishing means like it's very uh, similar to an official mail right for example you will get uh, your facebook credentials are not working please try to reset and there's a link so you go and click it so it will go to something like Facebook and you enter the credentials, similar to the earlier one I explained. So then it will take all your credentials. Right? So when you get those kind of emails, usually those emails uh, may be very, if you carefully look, you will identify uh, there are some spelling mistakes, right? So uh, now in our offices also, they do some trials to make sure that we are not clicking unknown emails. They are doing a trial and sending us phishing mails. So if we click it, 
it will trigger to our administrators and they will ask, okay, you have clicked this. Uh, so this was something like a trial for the phishing uh, mail. So please um, learn more about phishing and uh, go for trainings. So they will do like that. So that is because to make us uh, more knowledgeable. So uh, you may not get those kind of trials sometimes. So therefore be careful when you're using emails, people will send, please enter your credit card details. It seems your bank is having uh, some issues with your credit card. And you click some link and go and enter all your credit, uh, credit card information. So don't do that. Okay. Because uh, when you get those emails, please check. So normally they have some spelling mistakes. Some uh, URLs are not properly uh, uh, mentioned. So uh, like that. So never click the links and go and enter. You call to the bank and see whether there's a real problem like that. Okay. Like that. And then there are viruses. Similar to the when you're accessing internet, when you are getting emails, also people can send you uh, those kind of uh, uh, pro, uh, programs uh, like viruses, right? So don't um, click unknown emails uh, from unknown senders and don't download all these attachments, right? Better to scan the attachments uh, before you open it up, right? You see the virus card. So these things can be done, right? And instant messaging, like, okay, in the Facebook, we can chat, in the WhatsApp, we can chat, right? There are so many applications where you can do this instance, uh, can do this instant messaging, right? So one thing is like um, abusing, uh, uh, like harassing, bullying, right? So a lot of uh, problems, are especially with the teenagers. Now, you are a bit small for that, but uh, not sure, right? At the age of, uh, like... 16, 15, this age. So it's very vulnerable age, right? So uh, because um, now if you have a friend at school, you know that person, right? You physically know it, uh, him. Uh, you physically know him and uh, you know about him at least where they live, which school they are. Like you know something at least. But virtual Facebook profiles or virtual profiles, social networking profiles, uh, anybody can maintain. Right, even now, the person who is age of 50 years old can act like a teenager girl. Can't that happen? Yes, can happen. They can some have some photos and create just a virtual profile. So uh, don't uh, uh, like connect or don't add uh, those people as uh, friends. If you don't know somebody physically, don't try to add. Uh, they mean your profiles. Now I know some people, uh, they in the Facebook, they have like 2000 uh, or plus friends, right? But uh, if I ask uh, whether you know, how much you know, like it can be like very less than 100 people. So in my profile, uh, each person in my profile, in my Facebook profile, I know. And I, I never had somebody which is unknown. Right. Even sometimes I have mutual friends, but uh, if I don't know that person, I'm not adding. Why? Because for what am I going to add him or her? Right. So no point. Because if I uh, physically know somebody, if I uh, meet him, if he's my one of my school friends or office friends or university friend or somebody, I my relative or like that, then I know that person. So then only I'm adding. I never. So I have uh, like uh, around four hundred odd friends in my Facebook. So all of them I personally know, right? At least I have met them once, right? So that's why uh, please and I don't add unknown people and don't start unnecessary relationships with them because later those things can be big problems, right? And um, like... Um, abusing, bullying, harassing, those things can be happen. So please inform your adults and report the relevant authorities if somebody is going to harass and all. Uh, so uh, please uh, keep some evidence also with you if those things happen, right? Another thing is like personal information disclose, right? So don't uh, reply to unknown messages just like uh, people are sending different different things so don't respond back and never disclose anything sensitive and anything like private for you and i know a lot of people uh, if you see news you can see this thing right 
right? You also girls la sharing their naked photos and those things are unnecessary problems, right? So don't disclose or don't send any of your personal things or any sensitive information uh, using these kind of uh, applications, right? Spam, right? Again, the in the instant messages also we can find this spamming. Spamming means you get a lot of unnecessary things, promotional messages, emails, and all these things. We call it a spam, right? Not relevant for you. So if you get slow, so many spam, what will happen is your inbox will be failed and your important messages will be missed, right? That's, that's what can happen. So for that also, you can have spam filtering, right? And uh, if somebody is like uh, regularly bothering you, like you can block those people, right? <laughs> okay, so uh, that's the end of grade six. So I have covered uh, grade six, all the uh, textbook chapters and workbook chapters, right? So hope you learn a lot of things um, and uh, if you haven't still subscribed my channel, please do subscribe and uh, press the bell notification also because I'm planning to add some more for this channel. And uh, be with us like grade six, seven, eight, you can follow us until your all levels, right? So that is my target. And uh, if you learn something, please share with your friends also uh, because a lot of students uh, personally also contact me and tell that, uh, they learn a lot of things because it's very hard to find proper classes and proper teachers for this subject, right? So yeah, thank you very much.